I did a thing. It's so pretty. Hello everyone. I got myself an RC four wheel drive. I don't know how to feel about it for a couple reasons because number one, this is my first RC four wheel drive product. In heart of hearts, I almost feel like I should have gotten the kit. I got the RTR because of the body. I love 70 square bodies. My dad had one as a kid. I love that truck. Also, kind of the elephant in the room with RC, RC four wheel drive themselves is build quality or not even necessarily build quality, durability, let's say. But as I've said, this is, this is my first product from this company. So I'm trying to come at this with as fresh eyes as I can. So let me stop waffling and open this up. The side I opened it up on, has your transmitter. Do these look similar? Because they do to me. This is a box, or this is a bag of goodies with your ready to run NIM pack, four AA batteries, and a simple wall wart charger for said NIM pack. Only thing in this bag that's probably going to get used is the AA batteries. There is also another box that has your inner fenders and bumpers. And then we have this box. Partially see right there what is in it. So this is a TF2. Jesus. Get that out of the plastic. Good God. This is my first experience with leaf springs and even I know that's way too stiff. Good God. Also in the chassis box, you get a sticker sheet and the instruction manual with an additional grill. Now for what everyone's been waiting for. The body. Let's get it out of the saran wrap. I'm gonna move this real quick. That was probably the worst peel in existence. All the other reviews that I've seen of this truck talk about the paint job. And it is nice, but if you're a paint guy and you actually get up close and personal, I know it will probably not come up on video, but it looks, looks like orange peel on the roof. There's a teeny tiny bit of it on the hood. But then again, like I said, this is this is my first introduction to this to this platform. Who, who am I to say that this is bad paint? Could have been ten times worse on previous vehicles, and I don't even know. Oh snap! The hood opens, but the little the little mechanism is actually metal. Oh, that is so cool. Oh whoa! I'm I'm over here about to break it. Note to self: don't open the hood again. You got some. Little mirrors. I gotta figure out how to take this eyebrow off the windshield. It has an interior with dash and steering wheel and little shifter. Oh, there's even door panels in there. I don't know if 
that's picking that up, but there's door panels on the doors. Okay, now I'm getting the scale aspect. This is cool. It is a shame the doors don't open, but I've ran with other TF2s on the trail and anything that opens will open. Won't stay closed. It will, it will remain open the entire trail run, like this tailgate. This tailgate will probably never stay shut again. Coming underneath it, there is a pre-installed light kit. Metal hinges for the tailgate. There's your interior. And then these holes right here are what's gonna line up with these posts on the chassis. So the body will fit on. I am probably going to straight away do the grub, grub screw mod that I've heard about. So I don't have to bolt and unbolt the chassis every single time I want to take it on and off. So I'm actually going to pause it here real quick and get this thing assembled. URC four-wheel drive guys are masochists. Good God. I think this was 30, 45 minutes just to get to this point, and I don't even think I'm done. I have the inner fenders installed, changed out the grill, because I like the spare included grill better. I put the bumpers straight onto the body. I cut the little bumper mounts off the backside and just screwed it straight into the body so when you do take the body off you don't have to fiddle with the bumpers into the chassis. I thought it was a good idea. I've probably just created the greatest sin known to man with RC four wheel drive. I don't really care because even though I've done the grub screw mod I would do it on camera, but I've gotten the body on, but I am scared to get it off because one side fender fits perfect. And then the other side I have to stuff in there and it makes sounds like I'm defiling it. Just trying to get things in place to where the body will fit on. I don't even know if I can drive the damn thing because I got to take the body off to put a battery in it. What did I get myself into? Okay, okay. I mean, I've calmed down. I have noticed underneath this hood while I was putting the fenders on, this motor is a 45 turn motor with a 14 tooth pinion on here. They don't want you going fast with this thing. I might try to put a 35 turn in there with the stock with maybe a 13 tooth pinion and see what it does to it. I know this thing is scale and you're not supposed to go fast with it, but we're going to do some playing around with the motor and the gearing. Comes with, man, look at that flex. Oh man, hashtag flex. It's got BF Goodrich mud terrain tires. I've always liked the feel and the performance of RC four wheel drive tires. It's not, a, they're not as bad as you think. You can always get a Amazon tire. Not to say all Amazon tires are bad, just about three quarters of them. On the wheel side, you have these metal rally style wheels, which do look good. Holy, holy not flex, Batman. Jesus Christ. Man, I'm going to have to take the body off to work on that too. <laughs> Let me just see something. Okay, I think I know what's going to happen with this guy. Yeah, these, these go to the Gladiator giveaway. 
there'll be a card above for that. But I think I know what's in the future for this guy. Some of this may also be in the future for this guy. Well, I'm going to end it here feeling a little traumatized. I'm going to go sit in a corner and rock back and forth a little bit to calm down. And then I'll come back to this, maybe put a battery in it and drive it around the house for some B-roll footage. But until then, I will see everyone in the next video.